India is witnessing rapid economic growth, which is leaving a huge imprint on the environment. I'm Bahar Dutt, and this episode of Earth Talks is coming to you from the Innovation Summit. A number of entrepreneurs have come forward in recent years to help us transition to a green economy. On this episode today, we'll be talking to some of these innovators. I'm honored to have with me Ms. Patricia Apagier, the Deputy Minister for Environment, Science and Technology from Ghana. And if I can start by asking you, ma'am, we've just had a session on e-mobility. What is happening in Ghana when it comes to e-mobility? Are you ready as a country for e-mobility? And what are the policies that you're looking at? Uh, yes, um, transport in general uh, is one of the incentives that we believe can move the country forward. Uh, as a country, we have a policy on transport system in general, but it, it is totally uh, blind with the, e the development of e-mobility. And at the moment, what is happening is that we try to uh, review the policy to include e-mobility, because we're talking about e-mobility, we are looking at reducing carbons, we are also looking at the idea of uh, 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 efficient movement of people and goods, we are also looking at the restructuring of our current uh, infrastructural system to take care of all these things. And so I wouldn't say we are ready yet, but at least we've taken cognizance of the need to change uh, the, the, the current uh, mobile system and ensure that we include e-mobility in our transportation system. And I noticed, um, you know, you mentioned before when we were talking, you spoke about, you know, the, the fact that there is lack of infrastructure, there are issues like behavioral change. Do you see the scope for India and your country to work together on the issue of e-mobility? Oh, yes, I see a very uh, pervasive uh, opportunity to develop this cooperation. Because I have noticed and I've learned that India have gone far with the development of its e-mobility. And uh, it is commonly acknowledged that uh, the development of batteries it's, uh, the, will allow any country to, to have the edge in the e-mobility development, e -mobility development of, of the world. And as a country, we've lately identified a commercial quantity of lithium, which can be developed into batteries. So if we want to decide what mode of e-mobility that we want to pursue, uh, one of the areas that we can conveniently do that is to develop our battery system and then the battery charging system which I, I got to know from the panelists that we have a company like that that can really assist or, I will, or develop some kind of partnership with us to promote that particular agenda. Honorable Minister, thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you.